Hi guys. Um, so I've got Teresa Lawrence here with me today. Teresa hails from Emerald and um, she's actually working up there. She's just on the green shirt with Nutrien um, as an agronomist. So welcome, Teresa. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, Felicity, for inviting me to come on today to talk about our um, sale horses. I'm nervous and excited. <laughs> <laughs> A pleasure to have you. Um, so, Teresa, you're a very um, decorated um, competitor um, in our horse world, in our challenge and, and horse industry and um, camp draft horse industry. Um, who did you start out with? Uh, so, when I left school, Felicity, I went and spent a year, a gap year with Cameron and Sarah Parker. And I was lucky enough to be there mm -hmm. the year that Cameron presented um, Jewel and Boone, the stallion that won uh, Con Curry that year in 2013. So that was uh, awesome to be a part of that and see the process involved in that. And he had a few cutting horses he was preparing as well. So, yeah, it was definitely uh, an awesome start into the industry. And, yeah, that's sort of where it all uh, kept going from there. I did push myself to go to uni yeah. after that, which was hard. But, yeah, no, it was <laughs> awesome there. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So... How important do you think it is that um, young people uh, people are involved in this sport, and um, you know there's room for them in this industry, and you know in in our sa in the sale here? Um, would you say that it's had a pretty large effect on your career so far in the horse industry? Yeah, definitely, um, Felicity. Like I just think the event that Nutrien runs with the Young Guns and now the Young Guns incentive in the challenge as well. Like, um, yeah, it's incredible to be a part of, and there's such good incentive for young people to be involved in it and probably the biggest thing I've noticed with it is um, how great the the influences are around the sport like uh, with yourself and just in the challenge industry you know with John Templeton and uh, Ron Wall um, you know Ken May the list just goes on and on Scott Shoe, Josh and Dave Smith like there's just so many people there to help you um, and support you and yeah it's just a fantastic industry to be a part of and it just makes it all fun and a bit like a family I suppose. Absolutely and I think that's really what the um, Nutrien are all about too trying to um, you know get that younger generation coming along and um, obviously the creation uh, of the Young Guns event has really made that um, and I think it's, uh, you know, helping the young people get into the limelight and um, get a little bit of a taste of that prize money that's up for grabs and, um, you know, putting something out there for them to try and achieve. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a great thing there. So um, you've got a couple of sale horses this year. What are you guys selling, Teresa? Yeah, so we've got um, two horses that uh, we've bred ourselves, uh, like, the Lansdowne family and uh, my family. So uh, I'm presenting in a five-year-old Irish Chisholm mare out of a Romeo um, mare Knights Willow that um, Kim Lansdowne drafted quite successfully. Uh, yeah, Mitch broke her in. We uh, Chisholm's Bethany is her name, but we just call her B. Um, yeah, Mitch broke her in. I sort of claimed her quite early on she was a bit special and a bit beautiful and all the rest of it mm -hmm. um yeah and I had in mind to take her to Concurry uh 2020 uh, with COVID and whatnot put a fair handbrake on that but she was prepared to go and um and the other horse is a uh, floozy cat he's a cat in a hat out of um Tony Mortimer's old stallion um Niner's Pepco Jet and yeah, he's a four-year-old gelding that Mitch had prepared to go to the NCHA snaffle bit for charity with him. Um, yeah, so they're, they're two really special horses, but we just decided that we wanted to take two finished horses and two really well-prepared horses and, yeah, two special ones, I suppose, this year. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's sort of how we came to that. Yeah, fantastic. And now talking about special horses, um you're one that you have by R.S. Chisholm. You're quite involved with the Lansdowne family and R.S. Chisholm himself. Um, I also have a bit of a personal, you know, uh, spot, soft spot there for him. I have a mare that's pretty special and she's um, actually won the classic challenge there in 2015 by R.S. Chisholm. So, um, yeah, tell us a little bit more about him. Has, has he, um, how many has he got in the sale this year? 
Uh, yeah, I believe there's uh, 17 in the sale this year by him and um, 11 in the challenge. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that's really great for, for your family and, um, you know, the stallion owners, Kim and Carol Lansdowne. So um, I wish him all the best there. And um, now are you competing over the week of the, the course of the sale? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm actually competing on uh, a mare I bought off Nathan Wilson as a two-year-old. Uh, her name's Tassas Rose, so she'll be in it. And uh, my old faithful mare, Ranch Governess, I'll have her in the open as well. Um, and Mitch will just compete both of them in the Young Guns as well. So, yeah, that'll be a good week. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's great. So uh, we've got the Open starting the first. That's our very first competition on Friday the 29th, early in the morning. Um, we've got $363,000 worth of cash and prizes. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we've got 456 entries, first round entries in the open camp draft. So um, it's no doubt going to be a massive competition. The prize money has been bumped up from $30,000 to $50,000 um, just in the open camp draft. So it's certainly something to try and win. We've got people coming from all over the country to compete. Yeah, yeah, it is um, It is something and everyone marks it on their calendar and it's sort of the event that nobody misses for the year um, and being the first uh, event of the year, it's always a ton of fun and yet such a credit to Nutri and how many people come and with the two you know, two run restriction, two run horse restriction with that many nominations. It's just incredible. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It certainly is, isn't it? Very good. Well, thank you very much for your time this morning, Teresa. Um, I can't wait to see you and your sale horses next week. And, um, yeah, we'll see you down there. All the very best. Safe travels. Perfect. Thanks, Flip. appreciate you having me on today. See you down there.